Anna wrote this. I live in London and for the past five years of searching, I have never come across a motivated seller. Is it true? Are there really no motivated sellers in London or indeed in any city? Hi, my name is Tony Dorr from Your First Four Houses. And my channel is all about helping you replace a job-based income with just a handful of investment properties. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the free content that I give you each and every week. So let's think about this for a moment. If there is roughly 8.9 million people living in Greater London, and Greater London is roughly 600 square miles, if my maths is any good, I make that about 14,833 people per square mile. So let's imagine that you're standing in the middle of one of these, on average, square miles. You've got 14,832 people around you. Now I am really struggling to believe that in amongst that number of people, you're not going to have a certain percentage, a certain number of people who, very sadly, are facing repossession. Or maybe there's somebody in this group that's found their dream house, and the only way that they can afford to buy it is if they can sell their own house within two weeks. Do you think there might be people in this group that are immigrating to go abroad, and although they've been on the market for the past three months, they haven't been able to find a sale, and they've got a job waiting for them. They're desperate to go. They need to go now. They need a sale now. With 14,832 people, do you think there might be one or two people in that group who have a big inheritance tax bill that needs to be paid? And the only way they can pay it is if they can sell quickly? I know this one's going to sound a bit weird, but I bet there's one or two people in that group who believe that they're living in, wait for it, a haunted house. And they've just got to get out of this property as quickly as possible. Do you think there may be many hoarders in our group? These are those people that sort of tend to hang on to stuff. In most cases, it's kind of junk, to be really honest with you. Could you help them, but also work it so that it's also a great deal for you too? Sadly, I know there's gonna be people in that group that are getting divorced, and they're not even talking anymore. Could you kind of maybe connect with them and kind of mediate just a little bit and work out a solution that works really, really well for them first, but also makes it a great deal for you? I bet there's a couple in our group that are expecting their first child and they're living in a, a studio flat or a one-bedroom flat and they're desperately trying to find somewhere that's a bit bigger and they're struggling to work out how to do it. Could you solve their problem? Absolutely make their day, but also make it a fantastic deal for you. I know there are properties out there with major structural issues. Maybe the seller didn't really know this until he had one or two sales that fell out of bed because the surveyor went out and said, hang on a minute, there's a big crack running down the back of that building. Are there any sellers who are trying to sell a flat with a really short lease? If he's got a short lease, it probably isn't mortgageable, and they may have had one or two sales fall out of bed. They may now be a motivated seller. Now, the truth is there are loads of other examples that I could have shared with you here, but I actually chose these ones for a reason. It's because I've actually helped a seller in every single one of these situations. Now, as I say, there are loads of others that I could have shared, though. So I don't think the question should be, do motivated sellers even exist in London, or indeed any city for that matter? I actually think you should change the question. I actually think you need three separate questions, to be honest. The first one is, pretty obviously, how do you find motivated sellers? And that's maybe a video for another time. The second part to this should be, how do you connect with them? Because that's really important. How do you effectively and economically connect with all of these different motivated sellers, which as I say, are definitely out there waiting for you to connect with them. And the third part, which I think is actually the most important, how do you ethically help them? How do you ethically come up with a win-win solution that works firstly for them, but also makes this a fantastic deal for you? I just wanted to show you this. As I was filming that, I came across this old pillbox. Um, it's all been boarded, it's a Second World War pillbox. It's all been boarded up now. Um, but there is a kind of window here, so I thought I'd stick my camera in it. I have no idea if you'll be able to see anything. And I'm desperately not going to drop this camera. If I just poke it in there, can you actually see anything? about that I, was gonna, I thought I might drop it there's another window around the other side that's just quickly sticking through there as well just to see if we can actually see 
anything. I'm going to turn it slightly more on an angle. There we go. In fact, I'll turn it upright so that we can do this a bit better. There we go. So let's do this properly. There we go. Did that of course I mean imagine my hand got grabbed anyway I thought I'd share that with you 